So who do I think is strongest in Boku no Hero Academia after watching season 1? Let's find that out. So I was suggested this by Ace Says that told me that I should make a video talking about who I think is the weakest and strongest in class 1A before I start watching season 2. Just to see if I was in any way near right or, or very wrong or something like that. And I decided that would be actually super fun to do. So I will give my best opinion. I will analyze what the things I have seen to see what I think and how if I get anything right for season two. So as mentioned, this is all my thoughts, my theories and my personal opinion about these characters. And I'm probably very wrong about most of them. I based this on since, since I only watched season one. And honestly, you don't get too much information about the characters there. But we got some and I'm going to make... A top 20 list of all the characters in class 1A and we're gonna of course start with a lower bracket from 20 to 11. Koji Koda. While I think he looks really cool, I love the concept of his design and all that, he's a bit of the thing thing. You know if you you know what we, you know what I mean? However, we haven't really seen about his abilities and quirk and all of that. I can assume he's very endurant, that he's a bit stronger and all of that, but that is just speculations. And from what I have seen. He seemed to be rather distressed most of the time, that he is a bit in panic, that he get helped and saved by the others and things like that. That is why I place him number 20 on my list, because honestly, there is not enough information from what we have seen about this guy yet. Fido Sato. Another character we haven't really seen super much of. We did see him swing uh, the shadow guy, you know, the, nah, the, the gate guy, so to speak, the villain. But that is pretty much it what we have seen. We haven't seen really super much of him. And while I do assume he has some strength like ability or something like that. We haven't really seen much of him. And uh, honestly I don't really, his design looks kind of shit actually. It's, I would only place him lower than Koda if it wasn't because we actually did see him do something actually. And he doesn't seem to be as in distress as Koda. That he seemed to be able to at least take action. And I'm curious to see a bit more about this guy and see if you can sway my opinion about him. Yuga Ojama. And at the moment he does mostly seem actually as a comic relief of a character. With his sparkle, his appearance and his mannerism and all of that. And his quirk, the naval laser... <laughs> Okay, I've seen laser from the eyes, I've seen laser from the mouth, I've seen laser from the fingers and hands and everything like that. But the navel? Well, at least points for being original there. And the little thing I do have seen about him is that he doesn't seem too keen to fight. He seemed to be avoiding that. After seeing the villain, apparently he seemed to be hiding most, I assume. We didn't really see him much of him there, at least. His laser seemed to be... Not, I don't know how strong it is. I'm not going to say right away that it's weak or anything like that. But he doesn't seem to be able to use it too much before his stomach starts to hurt and all of that. So I place him pretty low there because, first of all, we do have seen a little bit about his abilities. But I have a feeling that at the moment he is a pretty weak character. He seemed a bit, bit shallow and all of that. But we're going to see how he can evolve. I, I do hopefully he will get a bit more serious to him. That he can he can show off that he can actually do something. Even if I have a naval laser. Hanta Zero. Another character that we haven't really seen super much of yet. Except that he have weird elbows that it's sending out some sort of... Is it tape or some sort of bands or something like that? And I don't know the versatility of that, those yet. Though he actually seemed to be able to control the the band he do send out like that. Um, using it for different purposes. I can definitely see the versatility and usage of these things. But I do know too little about this to actually place him a bit higher. I don't know if, how they are strong or if they are sticky or something like that. So I've decided I will place him on 17th place. And hopefully we get to get to see. I do otherwise like this character. that he, How it looks like. He looks like a funky ass dude. So... We gotta see how we gotta be like. Mina Ashido. While she had been showing a bit of distress towards things and when the villains attacked, she didn't get to do much at all. Main reason why I placed her 16 is by the fact that the thing I have seen about her is that she can produce acid by melting a bit of Yuga Aoyama's cloak and all that. And 
being able to use acid in battle is definitely something I can consider very strong. Now I don't know if this is certain acid that only affect maybe inanimate in objects. Oh my gosh, inanimate inanimated objects or actually everything that we don't know and considering her appearance I don't know really much more if she have other abilities than that but I placed her 60 mainly because of her acid and knowing that acid can be a fucking horrible weapon so I'm curious more about what she can do and all that but hopefully we get to see more of that on next season Toru Hagakure Probably butchered that name a couple of times, but uh, I bet no one did see her coming. <laughs> that that was actually a bit more naughty than I expected it to be. But yes, I place her 15 mainly because her ability is obviously quite strong, actually. Invisibility. Well, that is pre in, se in self is a strong weapon. She haven't been able to utilize it very well, actually. She been defeated by Todoroki in an instant, and uh, the other characters have been simply overshadowing her so she haven't been able to do so much yet even if i do know that invisibility will have a very strong usage and i think that we will see a bit more and she will definitely rank up higher as season two coming is our little grape dude minoru mineta and um, while we did get, get to see a little bit about his abilities and all of that from these balls that is super sticky. I'm just, I think that there is lots of usage to those balls. I mean, I'm still pretty sure that using them right can be devastating. While no direct damage, the usage of them can affect and change the battle, definitely. Though he, he show a bit of distress, he being getting panic, he getting afraid. Obviously, that goes for every one of these characters. They are kids, so I don't expect them to be super experienced, obviously not. But the panic he's showing and that he, did, he, did, he didn't get a chance to really think and all that definitely put him down a bit in the list. But seeing that I heard that he's a pretty smart character and all that, I think he could actually fight one. And maybe he's not a strong character by his own but with others i can definitely see great usage of his abilities and powers and all that our beloved little gravity girl ochaku uraka I, that is such a hard name to say while i think her ability in itself is very strong that she can affect gravity do i not know if she can only make things lighter or she also can make things heavier if she can do that and manipulate gravity like that it definitely will be an incredible strong force to deal with and just like Mina Ashiro didn't she get to do much because she got distressed she got afraid and all that which is natural of course I don't blame her definitely I would shit my pants if something like that happened to me but her greatest weakness is to get in melee and touch something to be, be able to use her powers and I think that is her weakness at the moment that I don't think she would fight well in close combat and no, not know if she can increase the weight or just make it lighter we don't know i don't know at least you probably do know do i really hope that she get to show off more of her powers and maybe she will be able to use her abilities for different ways so i'm curious to see how that's gonna go for 12 is our living battery denki kaminari and while we did get to see a lot of his you know he can do lots of damage he, he's like a walking stun gun and I'm spinning on my screen for some reason, I don't know why. The main weakness of Denki is obviously that too much uh, power he uses, he, he becomes done. Then he's defenseless. Secondly is that he obviously freaking out. He's, he's way easily that when the villains attacked, he freaked out. He didn't think straight. He got panic, he, did, could, he didn't even do anything decent move. And he, while he was actually thinking on his teammates that he knew that I can't use this ability without I might actually hurt them. That I think is actually quite an interesting thing because he realized that I can obviously not just use my ability because if I do that, I will hurt others. So that is definitely a good point in my book, at least for him. But then again, when he did finally get to use his ability, he was dumb as dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> no, it was actually quite hilarious. I love that fact, actually. Miso Shoji. 
he's a character I have really hard time to play Sacred mainly because he seemed to like a very strong character and incredible versatile considering what he can do with his uh, weird things and he seemed rather strong he seemed confident and he seemed to know how to react towards danger and all that he seemed like a very awesome character and I'm curious to see how strong he actually can be and what he can do with that how much power he can utilize and the limits and no limits to his abilities and quirk. So we're gonna be very excited to see how far he will get in season two. So this is the first part of two, showing what I think is the weakest and the strongest in class 1A and probably I'm very wrong, but I'm really excited to watch this Boku no Hero Academy season two very soon of course and I hope every one of you will join and we're gonna see how this is gonna go, and next episode we'll upload it very soon, of course, as well. So we're gonna see. And as I said before, it is all my opinions, my thoughts, what I think from seeing just season one. And I'm probably very wrong about that. I'm excited to see how far this will go and how much I, I'm bad and how much I'm right and all that. So thank you everyone for watching. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like for more. It means super much to me. And I will be back with another episode very soon. So see you later on. And most of all, though, have a continued super great day.